The ADDS schema is the component that defines all the object classes and attributes that ADDS uses to store data. All domains in a forest contain a copy of the schema that applies to that forest. Any change in the schema replicates to every domain controller in the forest from the schema master, which is typically the first domain controller in the forest. ADDS stores and retrieves information from a wide variety of applications and services. It does this, in part, by standardizing how the ADDS directory stores data. By standardizing data storage, ADDS can retrieve, update, and replicate data while helping to maintain data integrity. Objects ADDS uses objects as units of storage. The schema defines all object types. Each time the directory handles data, the directory queries the schema for an appropriate object definition. Based on the object definition in the schema, the directory creates the object and stores the data. Object definitions specify both the types of data that the objects can store and the syntax of the data. You can create only objects that the schema defines. Because objects store data in a rigidly defined format, ADDS can store, retrieve, and validate the data that it manages, regardless of which application supplies it. Relationships among objects, rules, attributes, and classes. In ADDS, the schema defines the following. Objects that store data in the directory. Rules that define the structure of the objects. The structure and content of the directory itself. ADDS schema objects consist of attributes, which are grouped together into classes. Each class has rules that define which attributes are mandatory and which are optional. For example, the user class consists of more than 400 possible attributes, including CN, the common name attribute, given name, display name, objects ID, and manager. Of these attributes, the CN and objects ID attributes are mandatory. The CN attribute is a single-value Unicode string that is from 1 through 64 characters long, and that replicates to the global catalog. Changing the schema. Only members of the schema admins group can modify the ADDS schema. You cannot remove anything from the ADDS schema. You can only extend the ADDS schema by using ADDS schema extensions or by modifying the attributes of existing objects. For example, when you are preparing to install Microsoft Exchange Server 2016, you must apply the Exchange Server 2016 Active Directory schema changes. These changes add or modify hundreds of classes and attributes. You should change the schema only when necessary, because the schema controls the storage of information. Any changes made to the schema affect every domain controller. Before you change the schema, you should review the changes and implement them only after you have performed testing. This will help ensure that the changes will not adversely affect the rest of the forest or any applications that use ADDS. The schema master is one of the operations master roles hosted on a single domain controller in ADDS. Because it is a single master, you must use the Active Directory Schema Snap-in to make changes to the schema by targeting the domain controller that holds the schema master. To target the schema master in a separate forest, you will need to target the appropriate forest from within the snap-in. Note, the What are Operations Masters topic provides more details about Operations Master roles.